Smith went, finally gets it out. Deleon gets past Richmond down the right side. Out front, there's a pass. They score on the first shot of the game. Xavier Bedard is there, and go figure, Mike Slip, the Bombers pressing, pressing, pressing. Cunningham, a couple of big stops, but they come right back the other way. A beautiful setup to uh, Bedard, and uh, that's a big, big start for Dippoin here early in the game, especially after being back on their heels for literally the first two minutes. Absolutely, Reese Richmond got caught up ice a bit here, and uh, created the two-on-one, a beautiful goal, really, by the Nippon Hawks uh, on their first shot. Here's Kane down the wing. Kane walks in shot. Rebound out front. Lees can't get there. Ran out of room. Flintfont trying to clear. Oh, what a hit that was. Von Strickland stepping into Deli on, and the Whitney Forum comes to life after that big body check. Fox picked it up. Fox got to hurry. Oh, Lees, what a hit that was. Oh, he steamrolled him in the corner. Lost to Bedard. Chance in front, Deleon, back at her out front. Oh, good save, Laser Hume, as he robs Radloff. And Flintfond hasn't turned the puck over often tonight, uh, but that was a turnover that almost led to a 2-0 uh, lead. Here's Galenshin, back to center. Got to come back out front to Silvestri. Olison will pinch in to the blue line. Richmond holds it in. Back of the goal for Silvestri. Out front, but goes through the legs of Galenshin. Flintfond holds it in, fry a chance. Bouncing puck, it's a hit. I think Sylvester redirected it in. 1.8 seconds to go. And that's why you always shoot the puck. Fry lets her go. A big rebound kicked out this time by Cunningham. And he kicked it right up over top of, like it, it goes straight up in the air. And Sylvester will tap it in. I talked about it in the first break. Mike, none of the rebounds hurt him. That rebound hurt him. Yeah, you know, and then, like we said, in the first period, they had guys at the net. They haven't really done that this period, but this this time they do. And a nice one-timer by Lucas Fry, too. Richmond holds it in. Looking for a lane. Doesn't seem to be one. We'll get it back to Hull. Top of the right circle for South Destry. Back up front to Richmond. Here's Hull. Looking for a lane. Got blocked again. Boy, the Hawks. Fantastic tonight. Back to the blue line again. Oh, can he get it through? He does! He scores! Power play goal! Power play goal! Boy, Noah Hull. Three power play goals against the Nippon Hawks in their last two meetings. Yeah, unfortunately, Rob Mercer got that one. He, uh, he tipped it in. Uh, he, he was in the right spot. We'll right see there. how they rule it. 12.40 yep. to go in the third period. A 2-1 flint -flon lead. A power play goal by Noah Hools put them up ahead. And Mercer will line up for the face-off here against Bedard. That'll do it for the power play, but the Bombers do get that much-needed goal. McKay's back on the ice. Back to five aside. Chance in front! Oh, they try to jump it, and they do! It comes out front to Galenshin! And a 3-1 bomber! And Galenshin continues to pile up the points late in the season. Boy, this guy has been... Nothing short of amazing. He might be their best forward the last 10 games. Paquette back to touch up, 9.24 remaining. And now we're seeing big stretches again with no whistles. Boy, what a game here tonight. Here's a steal by Kane, out front. Oh, what a goal that is. Tic Tac go, and Joey Lees has got his fourth SHL goal. They don't come any prettier than that. And boy, the unsung heroes continue in the absence of the four dominant offensive players. What a pretty goal. It sure was. Joey so Lee's all he had to do is get a stick on the puck, which he was in the right spot to do that. It was tic-tac-toe, like you say, Rob. Beautiful goal. Uh, Kane Mercer leads. Lees is fourth of the year. Turn pass out front of the blue line. Fuck, can it drive? The puck rolling past, it's in! And the Hawks have scored on the power play with five minutes to go. Fouquet gets it to go off the post, and it looks like Laser Hume might be shaking up here, Mike. A little bit, yeah, he's getting up now. I don't know, he might have taken a stick up under the mask. I'm not sure, but he's, he's, he's okay. I tell you, Rob, 4-2. How big is that goal post by Bookberger now? Huge, 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 huge. Tanchuk, Tanchuk hangs on. Brings it in, pass out front, one timer! Oh, what a save by Cunningham! Absolutely robbing Zach Kane! He gets a clap from me. 
What a gigantic stop by Cunningham. That was beautiful. He stretched so far, he he's, uh, sort of stretched his arm out a bit. Tet just ripped it wide. Boy, he's had some good chances. They pick it up, but they score. 4-3 with 10.7 seconds remaining. How big is that goal post? How big is that save yeah, from right Harvard Laser Hume? Huge. That's Buckberger who gets a little bit of redemption. Or sorry, Dobson gets the goal. Johnson Galen should make base off to the right of Harmon Laser Hume. The Hawks win the draw. Back to blue line. Buckberger blocked in front by Fry. And that's going to do it for the game here tonight. It is a big victory for the Flint Pawn Bombers as they will uh, now have guaranteed at least a third place finish. Yeah, they get. Uh, more than they did last year uh, when they went to the Centennial Cup, uh, uh, the league final, they, they didn't have home ice. They, they